All right, if you are a business owner, the Chamber of Commerce is the best networking place to be. And coming up next week is a big expo with the Phoenix Chamber. And we are, of course, Jack, talking about getting people out there because this is a great opportunity to see what's going on in your own backyard, business-wise, and um, being a part of our growing community out there. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's it's going to be a wonderful event. It's called um, Unleash Your Power Business Conference and Expo. It is an all-day event from 11.30 to 7.30. Uh, there's business panels going on, keynote speakers, food, vendors, lots of specials, lots of deals going on that day. Um, it's just, it just a great day. Yeah. I'm really happy that the things are opening up for everybody. Yeah, and, and this is open to the public. You don't have to be a business owner, but it's great to go because if you are thinking about opening a business or if you are a business owner yourself, networking is so important right now as we start to see, as you said, things are opening up during the pandemic. A lot of business had to shut down because they didn't know how to maneuver through this time, and this is great to talk to those businesses that did because who knows what can happen going forward. Right, right. No, no, it's uh, it's a great place to go and meet people who are experts in their industry. I think that was one of the things I didn't realize when I uh, started the chamber or purchased it, actually purchased the chamber, that I would meet so many people that were experts that would create the success team I needed around me for the other things in my life. I had no idea. Yeah. What made you want to go and purchase the, the chambers? Well, I own a seminar company called Next Evolution, and it's sort of mind-blowing weekends and all that. And the, the person who created the chamber did the first level of that seminar, and he had a breakthrough, and that was, I want to sell the chamber. Huh. So he came to me and said, I want to sell it to you. So I thought about it for a couple days and decided that would be fun and exciting, so I did it. <laughs> and, and that's great. And with that, you're able to help a lot of businesses out there. And that's why it's always nice to join these, these uh, Chamber of Conferences because, again, you guys have the, you know, the, the, your finger on the pulse of what is going on, not just in Phoenix, but uh, the surrounding cities, yep. our state, but other states too. I mean, you guys all work together because you want to see the community grow. Well, yeah, it's all community growth and giving back to the community. So we have the Phoenix Metro Chamber Foundation. So at that March 9th event, we will be giving over $10,000 to local charities uh, at the event as well. So the, the chamber, that's what I mean. When you really look at it, I didn't understand it as much when I joined um, or purchased it, that it is so community driven. Uh, business and the community to give back to the community and again I, I cannot emphasize enough the experts you meet in these environments I mean that translate to your regular life yeah like a trust and, and a financial planner and you get time in the chamber to really get to know these people and you find out especially in our chamber because we're all about win-win and, and integrity so we make sure that if you join the chamber, if you're going to use a chamber member, you're going to be getting somebody that's going to do what they say. And definitely a big part of this chamber is um, not commission driven. People driven commissions follow. Yeah. And that's the type of people that are in the Phoenix Metro Chamber. Yeah. And, and you said right there, you never know who's going to be in these chambers because you have uh, retired CEOs, you have people who you know, started up companies, uh, you have people who um, are building major companies. And it's so amazing when you do step into one of those chambers, and I've been to them, where you're like, wait, you ran a Fortune 500 company and now you're running this little coffee shop? Mm -hmm. But it's successful and that's why this expo is great to go to, to listen to your key speaker who yeah. you know is is big in the community and knowing what's going on. Yeah, uh, Shea Killebrand, he's awesome. He's an ex-Major uh, League Baseball player. He did spend some time with the Diamondbacks. Yeah. But his story is so unique because he reached the success and then s trouble started for him mentally and he he had to work through all that as well. So his story's fabulous. There's four panels that day. So if you're gonna start a business or you're in a business, this is valuable information. There's a panel on business strategy. There's a panel on IT security. There's a panel on networking and there's a panel on marketing. And all everybody up on that stage is gonna be an expert at what they do. That's it's awesome. Great information there. I love it. And we have a wrap on the screen right there. It is Wednesday, March 9th, 11.30 to 7.30 uh, p.m. Well worth it. Uh, you go right to the PhoenixMetroChambers.com. Free. Com. Free. Free? Whoa. Free. You didn't go, why? Free. free. Wow, that's amazing. Attendance is free.
Uh, actually, and if you're a business or you're owning a business, you're going to start one and you're not a chamber member, we're giving away a bronze membership on that day. All you need to do is go to the website and register. That immediately gets you into the drawing. There you go. And that's, see, that's what the chamber wants. They want to watch people grow. So there you go. There's your opportunity down the Hilton Gardens in North Phoenix. Happy Valley. Thank you. That's it. Perfect. Awesome. Thank yeah. you guys Thank for you. having me. Thank you. All right. Uh, there you go. So, wow. Nice to do. All right. Come on back. We got more of the mix for you. Bye after this.